Well, I got this set at a little discount because the person who uh, sold it said that the FM band isn't functioning and there are some issues also with the cassette player. The set wasn't really clean, so the first thing I did was to go about at least uh, cleaning it. The exterior was partially clean, but the interior was full of dirt and muck and, and probably it had never been opened earlier. Well, the set has already been restored to its proper working condition. I am going to tell you the story of this restoration and the problems I faced. Well, I am going to show you the various parts of this set and also share with you the details of the repair and restoration work which I carried out. Now this is a flat rubber belt which I had to change because it became loose and it is very typical of all the national sets right from the beginning as, um, as far as I remember. In cassette tape recorders, the pinch roller, the player record and erase heads have to be cleaned with isopropyl alcohol. This is the main board which shows the layout of the various components. I have labeled them all for convenience. This will help you to understand what was the problem in the set not receiving the FM band. I had to check the entire FM section. I began by inductively coupling a 10.7 MHz FM signal to the set. Well, there was no problem. The signal was being received loud and clear through the speaker. Thereafter, I checked in detail the entire front end, the band pass filter, the various components which are connected, uh, the two RF transistors and the AGC portion as well. It was now time to check the UPC 1018C chip. I checked all the pin voltages on this IC and everything seemed to be quite normal. Now I had to therefore remove this IC. I soldered a 16 pin IC socket for testing a fresh IC and lo and behold there was no FM reception. I wanted to tackle this problem with a fresh mind, so I decided to keep this set aside for the next one month. I decided to have another close look at the FM front end. I had already eliminated the bandpass filter, the two RF transistors, the AGC as well as the UPC 1018C IC. I had even replaced the two SA838 transistors by BF324s, but again there was no change. And then something caught my eye. I had checked both the primary and secondary of the AGC filter transformer. The continuity was perfectly okay. I had taken for granted that the capacitor in the primary section of the LC circuit was okay. I decided to make sure. I therefore connected a 56 PF capacitor in parallel to the existing one. And yes, the FM band came in loud and clear.
आकाशवाणी दिल्ली का अंतरप्रस्थ चैनल है मीडियम वेव तीन सौ छियासठ दशमलव तीन मीटर अर्थात आठ सौ उन्नीस किलो हर्ट डी आर एम आठ सौ दस किलो हर्ट पर शास्त्रीय संगीत के कार्यक्रम में अब प्रस्तुत है विदुषी माधुरी डांडेज द्वारा राग गुनकली में गायन So that's the story. I hope you like this video. Do watch my other videos as well. Thanks for watching.